Pogger here with an exciting update. I've reached out to some graphic designers and we have come up with a small rebrand along with a new logo and banner. So stay tuned for more updates on that. Now, without further ado, pucker up for those Instagram photos because we're going to dive into the lemon drop. Now, the normal lemon drop is pretty simple. It's only a couple ingredients that most of you probably have in your home right now. We're going to talk about three different variations of the lemon drop so you can try something fancy if you're feeling like it. First, we'll go with the original. You want to get your shaker, just put some ice in it, and the main ingredient here is going to be vodka. My preferred choice, Kettle One. Absolute and Belvedere are also some great choices. Now, what we need is an ounce and a half. We have a pour here, so we're going to teach you now how to do the correct pour. An ounce and a half, which is a normal shot that you would get at a bar, is called a six-count pour. You might have heard of it. Basically, you want to equate a quarter ounce per every second. So that'll give you your six count pour. So here we're going to pour in our vodka. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is going to get you pretty much your perfect shot that you need. Now we're also going to add in three quarter ounce of lemon juice, freshly squeezed by the way. And we're going to add three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Now simple syrup is pretty easy to make at home. And it's really just equal parts water and granulated sugar. So, without further ado, that these are just the three ingredients. We've just had an ounce and a half of vodka, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and three quarters ounce of simple syrup. Make sure it's on tight. Don't want any accidents. Give it a good shake. Then you want to take your martini glass. I like the short stem ones, easier to hold, honestly, and you can still make it look just as pretty. Strain in your delicious cocktail. Can't forget, garnish with your lemon wedge. And there you go. Here you have a beautiful lemon drop martini. I don't know if I've actually ever even had a lemon drop. That's good. It's also dangerous because you don't really taste the alcohol. Granted, it's only about a shot, but that's dangerous. A few of those and your night's going to be going well. All right. So this variation of the lemon drop features Grain Marnier and a little bit of orange juice. So we still need our six count pour of vodka. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's that beautiful shot. One ounce of Grain Marnier. So if you only need one ounce, you're just going to count to four this time. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. We're going to take one and a half ounces this time of some freshly squeezed lemon juice and just a splash, half an ounce of orange juice. You can rip the Grand Marnier, which offers you that wonderful orange scent. Honestly smells delicious. Give it a nice shake. Get your cocktail glass, strain. And of course, your garnish. So here, it's obviously a little more darker yellow due to our two different orange liquids that we put in there. Mm. That's not bad either. You can definitely tell the orange taste. The Grand Marnier shines through. While it's a different variation, I'm going to be brutally honest. I think I like the original better. This one was interesting to try. Definitely saw it, uh, the recipe for it. I wanted to try it, but you win some, you lose some. So stick with the original. It's usually better anyways. Now, my mom's favorite, she recommends your vodka, lemon cello, and a little Prosecco on top. Now that's her variation. She's the master. I am simply the student, but it's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Now, I need you to grab your coats because next week 
We are headed to the motherland as we dominate the Moscow Mule. So tune in next week for an exciting drink. Until next time, pogger out. <laughs>